Hey guys, what's up? It's Sean, Autotopia LA, and today we are finally with our friend Laura. This has been a long time coming, man. Really a long time. Really yeah, long time. I mean, how long have you had the car now? I bought it two years ago on the 22nd of this month. So you drove it as it was for a while though, didn't you? Yeah, like maybe three months, four months. And it's what, is 71 is it? It's a 73, 73. with a 70, 71 front clip. So that's where people get confused. So like, this isn't a 73, but it's, it is, it just has the 70 and a half or 71 front clip. Yes. And same with the spoiler. I love the split bumper. I think it's just such a so slick look, you so know. So do I. And it was already this color, wasn't it? Yes. If you haven't had to do paint on no. it. No, so body and interior was the only thing that's still original, but everything else I did. You completely tore it. Completely it. tore it. Yeah. All right, well, let's dig in here first. So it's a crate motor. It's a LSX 454. Um, stock cam, stock motor, no, nothing added to it. Yeah. Naturally aspirated. Yeah. Just, it is what it is. Yeah. Didn't you say it's just shy of six at the tire? Yeah, just, it's like 597. Just, that's a lot. Such a perfect power that's range. That's a lot, yeah. And your car probably, I gotta guess this car is 32, 3300, somewhere 32, around 32, something is it? wet, yeah. Yeah. Everything, like the, the firewall, all of that is, is all custom. The hosing is uh, XRP Racing, it's a brand, so it's the HS79. I was told it's aerospace grade hosing. I love the color. Do you know the name of this color by chance? So I'm pretty sure it's a 69 Camaro color. It's called Fathom Green. Oh, okay. um, I don't have the paint code. I try to look it up, but- I got you. From what I'm pretty sure that's that's what it is. And is that why you named it Olive is because of the color? Yeah, I just came up with it one day and then thinking about it, the look of the car with the taillights looks like an olive, like a martini olive. With, so great, Laura. With a little pepper. One of the things I've always loved about this car is that although it's all well done and there's, it's like proper, you know what I mean? It's a proper build. It looks like a driver car. Yeah. It doesn't look like, oh shit, we pulled it out of the garage. We better wipe it down real right, quick. And, right. You know, check the underside. And Yeah, and that was the goal for me because when I bought it, it was, in my eyes, it was cherry. Like I didn't right. really want to change anything. I didn't want to take any of the old school stuff away from it. I just yeah. wanted it to be faster. Yeah. That was the first thing I said, it was it's too slow. People are trying to race me at the light. I just need more power. Yeah. So, you know, you can't just put in more power. You got to do everything else, suspension, everything. Yeah. Um, but they're like, you know, do you want to put carbon fiber on anything? Do you want to change the look? And I didn't, I just wanted to keep it pro touring, classic, vintage. So in 30 years, it still looks like a 73. It doesn't look like 100%. I built it in 2020, like a lot of cars today 100%. do. 100%. How long has it been now that you've been out autocrossing? A year. So a year. I've only done five races. So far, suspension wise, is this, this is speed tech stuff on yeah, here, isn't it? Yeah, so I have the extreme front subframe yep. and then the torque arm in the rear. It rides great, it's comfortable, it's smooth, and they're just easy to, to tech with. And I see a Willwood Master, so I'm assuming you have Willwood all yeah, around I've the car. Yeah, I've got 13 inch brakes. It's manual brakes, then? Yeah. Yeah. Bitch yeah. It. Oh, love it. Now, what do you made to do transmission on here? So I have the Tremec, the T56. Yeah. And again, it's not built, right? Because it's it's made to be able to handle this power. Yeah, no. Yeah, I love it. <laughs> I just, I love your car, Laura. Oh, you I know, know I mean, I've, I've only said it to you a million and one times before. How about exhaust? Does it have cutouts? Yeah. It does, yeah. okay. That's why it's so, I mean, it's, it sounds bitching, but it's loud. Yeah, I'm man. like, I want it to be as loud as possible. Like, I want the neighbor's car alarms to go off. Forge line wheels, which, you know, man, great wheels. Yeah. Do you know your sizes on here? Yeah, so it's 18 by 11 and a half and 18 by 12 and a half, three piece wheels. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty sure they are the SC3C model um, in brushed bronze. Okay. And chrome. 315s in the front and 335s in the rear. Do you know the rear end on your car? It's a Ford nine inch. There you go. Do you know what you're geared at in your rear? A 373. So this is one of those areas where I know about this, where Sam really geeked hard on the lower balance, right? I just love that cutout. It's not, yep. you know, it's it's subtle, it's sexy, it just looks dope. Tucked it right up under there with my gas tank. Everything just fit like a glove. Yeah. 
So now in here, this is, I mean, there's a Momo wheel, I see. Did that come with the car or no, did you I, add that? I added that. So mm -hmm. that and the, the shift The knob. shifter, uh-huh. And then Sam actually surprised me the little console setup. So they, oh, they yeah. actually made me custom cup holders to, oh, fit, that's so... to fit to a Starbucks cup. And so vintage air you're running? Vintage air, I got new gauges. Those are Dakota Digital. Oh yeah, yeah. So nice. those are cool. They, it's still like that vintage look, but you know, digital. Cool. Well, let's we'll get some cameras set up and we'll go. Uh, right. we'll finally, get to go for a cruise in your car, man. This has been like <laughs> freaking two years waiting. Yeah. Bitching. selling this or I'm if somebody never selling this. I can't never sell I it. can't sell this car no. I love it.
Well, how bitchin' is that car? Not to mention, Laura is about as cool as it gets. She's in this for all the right reasons. She enjoys driving, she's out racing, and this car is just really set up. Yeah, a couple little things to be worked out, but no big deal. Overall, the car is right there. The right power, the speed tech stuff, the big fat tires on here, the color, just bitching, man. I'm stoked we got to shoot this car. So big thanks to you guys for hanging out and watching, and I will see you in the next episode. All right, man, later.